All right, welcome back to another video. As promised, last time we talked about during the off-site video, now we're gonna talk about the cascading and the catch ball process. So in that meeting, we get to decide what is cascaded to our teams, and then we take the chance to cascade that. And then they get a chance to, in essence, throw a ball back and forth, talk about some ideas and talk about what's going on so that they can find the exact right fit for their team and figure out what they need to do and set goals for moving forward. We're gonna show you an example of what catch ball looks like. Using this volleyball, Wilson, uh, to help us today, we're gonna to toss it back and forth. So think about information or data being passed back and forth between two different groups as we do this. So just as uh, data goes back and forth, in this catch ball process, we're simulating the tossing back and forth of that information. And once you have the ball, then you have a duty of responsibility to complete your portion and then give it back. And so what ends up happening is leaders will share current condition of what's happening in the company. They'll give it to the people that need to know what's happening. They'll process that information and then they'll hand it back and say, here's what we think ought to happen based on the information you've given us. And my favorite part about this is that every person gets to touch it, right? And so every person feels like they're a part of process of the process and of setting goals for their own team. Yeah. So Heads up, Josh. So it's less about a leader saying, hey, here's what I want you to do. <laughs> and then it doesn't come back. And it just resides in the hands of the team member. Hey, that was a fun exercise, throwing Wilson back and forth uh, to simulate the catch ball process. Now we want to show a couple examples of the cascade. And we're going to show it from three different teams. So we have custom product team, the purchasing team, and the distribution. All right, so here we've got the custom product value stream and they're doing exactly what we talked about. They're taking that time to cascade this information that they just learned in the offsite down to their teams um, so that they are then prepared to break off into little groups by the end of that meeting and start their catch ball process and start talking about what's important to their individual teams. And you know, and I thought, I thought about what build together means, you know, and there's been, there have been nights when I leave home, leave for home early, and I look across my shoulder and I see the aluminum team members working and I wonder, am I building together? Did I show them the support that I needed or am I cutting out early? <laughs> you know? Um, there have been times when I've noticed Josh working really late and I'll distract him and we'll argue about something for a long time. And then I go home and I wonder, did I build together with Josh or did I make things a little harder for him? You know, and I, and I, I just like, I just invite everybody to reflect on that. You know? So the teams have just done a cascade session. Now they're breaking off into three groups and now they're gonna start the catch ball process. In the catch ball process, what they wanna do is identify the top targets that are related to their team and their value stream. And they'll begin to create some goals. From that, they're gonna take those goals and they're going to report those back to the leadership and propose that this is what they wanna work on over the next six months. It's a very exciting process. And along the way, they're also gonna have some pie. Yeah, I really liked watching this process happen. Uh, they go out into those individual rooms and now they all grab a whiteboard and now they're hearing directly from the team members. So the team members have just heard, hey, here, here's the top things to be worried about. And now, now they're starting to write down a few specific, very, uh, very individualized to their process and their product to what's uh, actually happening. And now they can begin to build a structure of what kind of goals they're gonna go after to help address those maybe abnormalities or uh, problems that they're experiencing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, oftentimes this is a very fix what bugs you process, right? Referencing two second lean. It's okay, give me a list of everything that bugs you and let's see what aligns. Let's see what we can work on and actually accomplish this period. Um, and that's what really happens in these catch ball um, times when they're going through all the data, going through what really bugs them and having a chance to, to really look at, at those things. Going back to the cascade process, uh, the purchasing team broke off their focus into three different initiatives, growth, speed, and margin. And with those three initiatives, they, they took some sticky notes and stuck it on the wall to say, hey, these, this is probably the thing that we need to be working on 
to help uh, address or to focus in this area of the business of what we've just talked about. And so at that point, we heard uh, from Seth Larson as he talked about the cascade process. And now what is the purchasing team going to do uh, during Catchball? So let's hear what he has to say. Uh, Build Together is really the, the theme for our rally cry for 2023. And uh, over the last few years, um, as we have weathered our way through the pandemic, we have been, um, we have really done an incredible job at um, making sure that our customers are happy and our recipients are satisfied. Um, but we may have also at the same time um, brought in um, some behaviors that may not be successful moving forward. We all need to step up and raise the bar. And how he, how we would like to do that is really by raising the expectation so that the bell curve is a little bit, well, that's not a good one. So it's a little bit right facing. So that the average expectation is actually a little bit higher than the average. Everyone just needs to raise their expectation. Okay, I'm here with uh, Seth and we just watched the purchasing team go through the, uh, the cascading process. What, what's going on with this process? Yeah, so we just got done with our offsite and we brought the information back that we learned from our various departments and we uh, got together with our leaders and shared that with all of our team members in the department. We wanted to make sure that everyone heard the same message from the offsite so that we can be sharing um, the right information and aligned to the right projects for the next six months. And then it sounds like you just kind of broke them off into three groups. Uh, what was, what was yeah, the we, idea behind that? Well, we, we shared all the information and then we tried to come up with a few different themes that everyone could align to and then asked everyone where they saw they could contribute the most and then allowed each person to volunteer in a way um, to see where they could fit into a project. Then each group has then um, now moved into a catchball phase a little bit themselves um, so that they can determine their projects and what they want to focus on. Okay. okay, great. Yeah, great insights. I love the transition that he gave us. And now we're going to go look at some of those uh, catchball teams and, and, and see what their, um, maybe what their focus is. One of the, one of the things that I was uh, questioning on um, whatever is if we're using the on the surf as analysts are choosing whether to drop ship or not are we are we using that are we um, are there other things that we should should be drop shipping instead of bringing in house all right then we'll next dive into distribution distribution had an awesome cascade um, and they were actually able to illustrate a few financial principles to the team members so that they were able to really understand what's happening when we talk about these big numbers in company meetings um, we want to be able to um, have them understand what those mean and and have that resonate with them because every day we're talking about cost and every day we're talking about cost per piece and how their labor ties directly into that and if they don't have a, a connection to the big picture that would you know that can be troublesome so we had this awesome activity with the Amber put together and it was so, so fun to get the team, get them on their feet, get them moving um, and really help illustrate in their minds uh, what, what these things mean. Yeah, those exercises really help a lot, uh, especially when it's put into the form of an exercise because it helps people to remember some of those accounting concepts and principles. They can be hard to, to remember just by explaining by definition. But when you get something that's a hands-on, practical, uh, or something that you take with you uh, that really helps you to remember what what happened. And as a bonus, they got to make cookies. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes. About that, right? Yeah, that's right. It's always good to have refreshments during these activities, Absolutely. you know. Well, we hope that you have enjoyed uh, today's video talking about the cascade and catchball process. We hope that it'll be informational for you. I hope it'll be helpful in terms of how you can apply the concept of passing information back and forth. It's not so much about tossing the information down to your team members saying, here's what I want you to do. It's, it's more about informing them and then letting them have the engagement and power to make those decisions uh, so they can set their own goals and contributions. And you'll get much, much better results and uh, better engagement. Forget that. All right. See you guys next time. Work. I'm going to underhand this one. Yeah! Oh! oh. <laughs> so oh, close. That's, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs>
Here, Chad, it's coming to you. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> it's a good thing it was I, just I a volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, catch ball process, many times you'll see in, in the data exchange that it will go back and forth. <laughs> Almost knocked the wind out of me. <laughs> oh, that was, that was a fun exercise, throwing that ball back and forth. Uh, I think it's really great. Now let's... Uh... <laughs> we we, we got to work on that one. Yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, oh, what if I just say, well, Josh, you're a pretty good catch. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse. Yeah. Um, let's see. Josh, you're turning red. I know. I got to get the red off. <laughs> let's turn the red down. <laughs> this background is very reflective. <laughs>